and takes a tackle 18 metres out from his own line. Good work from the Leeds defenders. Put Saxon on his back, but then they're just all on too long. Rovers get the penalty, but after uh, after seven minutes here, and uh, Featherstone Rovers competing really well. We sail them out. We've, we've, you know, we've got the flow of the game at the minute. We've got the momentum. Um, like I say, we're coming out of our half, they're coming out of theirs, but we're certain like they're speedy again. We're brushing off the first tackle, we're getting quick play of the ball. Um, we've definitely, definitely got the run of the green so far, and we've shifted to left again, or we're away again. Matadale gets that inside ball from Liam Finn and Rovers are on the attack again and it's good stuff this from Rovers. Good platforms that they're using the attack. There's Johnny Grace and it's a line and gets a lovely up all the way to Greg Worthington. I'd mentioned that uh, Johnny Grayson was having a big impact in the game and that was a lovely short ball from I think it was Liam Finn. Here's Grayson again. Rovers again down this left. Hardman. Saxton does well to take that ball above his head and here goes Saxton and uh, does well and gets Rovers into the leads half of the field. Plays the ball to uh, Kane. Here's Finn, he takes the line on himself. Does well, gets up to the leads 30, looking for a quick play of the ball and gets one. Ball spread wide, there's Smeaton. So Rovers making 10 metres every play and good progression up the field. Back to the open side with Tim Spears. He settles things down with a drive towards the post. It's fifth and last. Ball will go to Finn. What will Finn put on? It's a little dab over the top. Targeting Cody. Ball comes to uh, Saxton. He gets away from Cody and a lovely ball inside. And it's Tonka who charges over. <laughs> Ten metres to the left. <coughs> Ian Tom scores a second try for Fenister Rovers. Pete's set. Leeds had under a bit of pressure. He's pinned on the right line. We need to get out of here now. We've weathered the storm so far. So to keep coming down this left edge. They're, they're looking scrappy here, this left edge. You don't seem to want it. Straight down again. Right. Here's Gratian again. Oh, he's, uh, he's having a storm with his Gratian. Sells a dummy. That was the right thing to do. Leeds had numbers back and wins a collision. Good quick play the ball. And Rovers, uh, well, Finn switches play. He knows that Leeds are stacking up the left, so Rovers have got numbers on the right. Smart play from Finn. Smeaton, oh, great centre play, shows it outside, brings his wingman on the inside. Blimpel goes in for the try. <coughs> no, Rovers will continue and it's a fifth and last. Davy kicking. Not the best kick in the world, but uh, Callum Watkins knocks her uh, pig's ear of it. So uh, Rovers will certainly take that. He's not happy with the decision, is Watkins, and uh, I think uh, with a 50-50, and Rovers have got the call, and uh, will certainly take it. 16-0, five minutes to go. People at home or seeing the score on the internet might think that oh, Leeds are playing a reserve side, but by no means the best side. But it's not a bad side, and uh, it's a side that Rovers are doing very, very well against. Ian Hardman over the top to Worthington. Just couldn't get the ball away. But he gets the ball away now to uh, Kane. Sorry, Davy. They don't only play alike, they look alike. Oh, great work. Great work by Matty Dale from Dummy Air. Rovers 40 metres away. Finn puts boot to ball, cross field. Well, he, uh, he took it well in the end. George Elliott, I think it is, but... Uh, he didn't look so sure when the ball was coming down, but uh, he did deal with it. That's Watkins, but good Rovers defence and the force the error. Tonks picks it up and goes on one of his runs. Chug Bolt going for the post. Oh, what work from Ian Tonks. He's a crowd pleaser. Everybody loves to see it. Here's Kane. Hardman. It's a oh, lovely hand from Ian Hardman. He's come inside as Brim Powell and I thought outside was the option and uh, he's pulling his back there but uh, great work from Tonks and great work from Ardo. Here's Spears. Does what he does well, carries the ball towards the post for Rovers. Kane. Oh, lovely ball on the inside. Hardman joins the line late. And oh, what a try! But Lee Smith is out there. He's an international player. And as I say, we're not seeing anything from, from him today. Rovers done a real job. Go! 
Burgess. He's he's kept going as Luke Burgess. Two on the way, on the way. Go. Oh, scooting from dummy half is uh, is a number fifteen. Has he got the ball down? He's going to give the try. It was sharp work by uh, by Liam Mud. On the line. Ball's on the way. What a try. Ball's on the line. Oh, well, what's what, what going on here? Try. Well, the try stands. Not sure that the player knew he'd scored it. Anyway, Mr. Silverwood's awarded the try. He's just trying to protect his uh, playmaker a little bit. Oh, good step from uh, Kane. Three, two. Good quick play of the ball as well. Finn picks it up, goes back the other way. 21, right. Space. Here's Worthington. Shakes off a tackle, shakes off another Four. tackle. And on then the he line. On the line. Away. Davey at dummy half. Good ball to Finn. Okay, Finn okay, over the top. Clear. He's in. What a kick. Okay. And what a take. And what a try from Featherston Rovers. <laughs> and one of these teams looks like a team. And that is Featherston right. Rovers. And the other team leads. Look all over the place. So leads are underway again. Kettlewell. Okay, right, okay. Here. Saxton's there. And, uh, well, so were the Leeds players. They all went up for it. The ball's come down in favour of the Leeds side. He's not waved back to one, though, hasn't the referee? One can only assume it is back to one. It doesn't matter anyway because. Uh, okay. That's okay. The Leeds player has uh, stepped out of a couple of tackles, gone over just to the right of the uprights, and uh, scored the try. Come on, move it down. For Rovers lead, 34-12. No squad, Ben. Burgess. Oh, oh lovely interception from Hemingway. Oh, Has he got the pace? Watkins is quick. Hemingway, he's going to get there. He scores the try, okay. does it? Tom Hemingway. Okay. Shows a bit of turn of a pace there. And Watkins were catching him, but Watkins is a quick player. It was an interception. Opportunistic. But Hemingway goes down the other end and... Uh, Scores a lovely try for Rovers. Oh, Worthington oh. and Kay. Good hit. Johnny Grayson oh. in the middle of the park. Help! Oh. Oh. Along with Tonks. This time Tonks does just keep the wrestle a bit too long and uh, Leeds get the penalty. Smith taps it. Runs into Dickens, bounces off the other way. Good offload. Bit of a uh, eye shot, oh. but uh, he gets away with it, does Kane. He did well to reach. Two! Two! Go! Good work from McShane. He's shown his class okay. in the second half as, uh, as Paul McShane. Joined now by uh, Zach Hardacre. And Zach, you got, you got a big move and uh, a, a big deal and, and Rovers got... A good, a good fee for you. You've been, you've gone to Rhinos. You come back to Rovers on a season-long loan. How's it been going pre-season with the Rhinos? Uh, it's been really good. Uh, change has been tough, uh, but been enjoying it. Good set of lads down there, so um, it's just good to have a different environment. Really, a bit harder, so but it's good for me. Yeah, enjoying it. And um, obviously, you come to Rovers. You played in Rovers colours today, and I think you're on loan for the rest of the season. And um, I thought Rovers were, were terrific today, and uh, knocking your new teammates about a bit, particularly in that first half. Yeah, but uh, pre-season, well, some of the lads have been saying pre-season with Rovers has been uh, pretty tough, Darrell's put full of paces, and it showed today on pitch really, it wasn't a, wasn't a, a rubbish, rubbish team, the power has put out a really good strong team, a few of his team is in there, so it really proves how much hard work lads have put in pre-season, and obviously I'm not being there, but it's shown up field today, and uh, it's good back, good uh, to be back on fit for Rovers field now anyway, so. And um, you came on as a, as a second half substitute, and... Your new teammates didn't go particularly lightly on you, did they? There are a few welcomes for you out there. Uh, you'll be having a few words, I imagine, when you're back training at the Rhinos. Yeah, I'll give them some sticky morning, but because we won, they're, th they're thinking they were all right smashing me, but I'll, I'll have laugh laugh uh, tomorrow morning for breakfast. But um, no, that's part and parcel of the game. It's, it's tough on pitch, soft as uh, soft as anything on outside of pitch, so just rugby anyway, end of the day. So, but I really enjoyed it today, it was good. Well, Zach, I think on behalf of all Rovers fans, we're really pleased that you know you got you got the big move, and we know you'll be a success. But we'll enjoy you for uh, one more season. Let's hope it's a season when Rovers can uh, lift some silverware. Yeah, hopefully we can, and I'm looking forward to the season too. So, thank you. Yeah. So there you have it, folks. The season's back underway proper. This was the big pre-season friendly, and Rovers 22-0 up at half-time. 
40 points to 18 winners against the Leeds Rhino side that featured some pretty big names. Wasn't the best side by any uh, stretch of the imagination, but it was a good side that they put out. And Rovers have, have done a job here and Daryl Powell delighted. We're going to the season strong, hoping to go on better than last year. And uh, all roads are leading towards trophies this year. You mark my words.